Ask away. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I thought we were already being extra careful. Does that mean we have to be extra, extra careful now? Great. There I was, enjoying my nap. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. Ask away. I have been mistaken. Enjoy this while it lasts. It won't happen again. You are a soldier worthy to stand among the Beresad. I did not think so when we first met. You are welcome. The day will come when the Arishok sends us here. On that day, I will not look to find you on the battlefield. There is no point in dwelling on it. We should move on. As you wish. What is your wish, Kadan? I am hardly surprised. To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Very well. As you wish. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. Aye, here we go. You and I, we... You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. I was thinking, uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar, before I left, obviously. Uh, it'd be nice to talk to someone else who's been out here a while. Someone else from Orzammar. Her name's Felsi. She and I were uh, friends after Bronca left for the Deep Roads. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. Oh, we coiled the old rope, if you know what I mean. Oiled the mine shaft. <laughs> Rubbed the foreman's elbow. <laughs> What? Why are you asking me? I didn't do anything. I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? What about? Oh, sure, I'm fine with it. I mean, she was a real firebrand between the sheets, but a bit soft in the skull, you know what I mean? Explains why she left, anyway. Handling what? Bronca? Pfft. That treasure's been long buried. Ancestors, take me. You people whine like tea kettles around here. Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eye is all. Did you want to talk about something? What about? It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. And the ale? Oh, who'd have thought ale made with grain? <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. 
Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. Just leave me alone, Warden. Seriously. Upset? Ugh. I don't get upset. I get drunk. Did you want to talk about something? What about? What? Miss Orzammar? Are you mad, in addition to being ugly? <laughs> they treated me like a puddle fly back there. I'm never going back. All right. Aye, all right then. Pull up a drink, Warden. Join me in my sodding hole. Nah, just tired is all. Did you want to talk about something? What about? You get a sword or an axe, and are told to go out and defend your city. It's the best thing in the world. That is until you try to live in the city you saved. I mean, they train you to kill, teach you to harness your rage at the first noise you hear, then try to set a hundred sodding rules about it. Like those provings. <laughs> Ancestors show their favor through the strongest arm, right? So why so many rules saying how to fight, and when you win, and not to bloody kill? Killing's what swords are for! You toss a nug to a deep stalker, you don't expect it not to eat the thing, right? <laughs> this makes me cranky. Don't you have any other inane questions? All right. Aye, all right then. I got a moment, hey, sure. You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. Aye, I'll teach you. Just be ready. To be a berserker, you have to face your own inner rage. Let the spirit of battle take over. And all that dust. There's a whole pile of philosophical rot that goes behind it. But the bedrock is this. Get real mad and kill things. What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle and things die. It's pretty simple. The hard part is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. It's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife, whatever. <laughs> I... Especially my wife. Well, for most berserkers it does. Several years ago I worked with a berserker on one expedition. Just couldn't work himself up. We had to kick him in the stones before he could get going. Why not? When you fight, you get mad. By the stone, it's a sodding tactic to enrage your enemy so he makes a mistake, right? Berserkers grab that anger and drink it like it's yesterday's ale. Then we turn it against our foes and watch the limbs fly. Well, for most berserkers it does. Several years ago I worked with a berserker on one expedition. Just couldn't work himself up. We had to kick him in the stones before he could get going. I can teach you what gets my hackles in a twist. But no one can tell you what'll set off that killing rage in you. Finding that is the key to berserking. And once you got that, I tell you, the ladies love it when you're all mysteriously angry for no reason. Trust me. You're a quick study, Warden. You must have been seriously steamed up about something for a long time. I... All right, then. I have a question for it, if it will indulge me. It chose to side with Caradon and destroy the Anvil of the Void. I agree with its decision, and yet the Paragon Branca was the reason it ventured into the Deep Roads. 
Why did it choose to defy her? It could not have known for certain that Caradon would be able to assist it with the dwarves. I... I am pleased, then. I had no idea that was why it did that. At any rate, I wanted to thank it. It gave Caradon the end he wanted, and I am pleased to have been a part of it. I will have to think on Caradon's words to me. It was... a great deal to absorb, but for now... Let us go on. It has occurred to me that I have been... Excuse me. This is not easy. It occurs to me that I have been less than charitable with it since it reanimated me. I have come to realize that it has been good to me. You have been good to me. Even though you had no control rod to enforce obedience, I have never had one before, so I, I don't know how to thank you for being, you know. Exactly so. I followed you, expecting to find answers to my questions, but I think I have found something better. Oh, let us not speak of this awkward bonding moment ever again. To the road. I am listening. It doesn't have better things to do on the... It is a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit, in fact. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I knew immediately that you were far more formidable than the other men you traveled with. I found you intriguing. Yet I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. And that is what I do not understand. I have been with men physically, those who lusted after me and even professed love, but friendship with a man? I did not know it was even possible. Still, tis good to think that we are friends. Of all the things I could have imagined when Flemeth told me to go with you, this would be the very last. I want you to know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship, I will always value it. But enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. Do you realize that you've been smiling for hours now? Since the last time you and that girl shot glances at each other, in fact. I cannot imagine what you begin to see in her. I hope at least the dalliance is worthwhile. I see. <laughs> Glad to hear it then. It is a bit sickening to watch you two, but I imagine it at least takes your mind from our situation. Have it your way. What comes, my friend? So! If there's anything I can do for you, please, please, tell me. I don't know what to tell you. Nothing I can think of at the moment.
shall be done. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Whoever draws the axe from this tree stump... Aye, it's wedged in there awful tight. You, sir! See if you are the anointed one, destined to pull the axe from the stump. You bloody loony you are! He's he begun. did it! Maker be praised! He is the one you prophesied! You are destined to be the ruler of all Thedas! Hail to the king! Hail! What? Pulling some half-drunk logger's axe from a tree is no basis for a system of government. But the good sir has such a regal manner. What? How do you mean? For one thing, he hasn't got dung all over him. Ah, that's a fair point. I shall do it. Of course. Oh, right. There she is. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? <laughs> Thanks, Warden. Find out how much she misses old Ogren or who I have to kill, and then I'll go sweep her off her feet. That's me, <laughs> Mr. Charm. What can I get for you? And don't say mead. We ran out of that a week ago. And don't say rum, either. Ran out the day before yesterday. And don't say brandy. Have you seen how desperate people are now? They just want a drink to forget what's happened. Some ran out of coin and started paying in food, chickens, whatever they had. Felsey! I need tables clean, girl! I've got a customer! Same as I'd be doing anywhere, earning coin. My mother lives here. Someone's gotta take care of the old Bronto. Ugh, did you have to bring his name up? I just ate. You could say that. You could also say I would rather kiss a deep stalker on the lips than see him again. What happened? Is that a serious question? Have you met Ogren? He got drunk. Drunker than usual, even. 
took off his pants and challenged a roast nug to a wrestling match at my father's funeral. He lost, by the way. The roast got him in an arm lock. He sat there crying for half an hour before someone pulled it off him. It was a sodding good roast. Elsie, what in Andraste's name are you doing? The tables, girl! All right! I've got to get back to work. I got work to do. I don't need to think about that sodding. Well, what does she say? Ah, that fight was rigged. Anyway, the guard said it wasn't worth pressing charges, so she's no call to hold a grudge. Did she say anything else? Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Well, look what the nug dragged in. I should have known you were in the neighborhood, by the stench. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? It was a bit of pain, but it was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? <laughs> the whole surface to choose from, and you just happened to come to my tavern? Yeah, well... Uh... What? Oh, right. It's fate, Felsi. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. Sure they do. <laughs> You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Brontos behind. So, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty, then. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogryn? Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. Oh, the Queen needed a new fool, did she? Oh well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Wait, you're leaving? You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. Well, you can't keep the Archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings, it might just turn the whole blight around and go home. Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nut droppings. I'll tell you what, I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled, you frigid deep stalker. Fine, but you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated sword cast. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> I still got it. Yep, still got it. Thunder, Humper. Indeed. Yes. Yes. You need me?
The Owl's alive. This is wonderful news. Thank and trust for miracles. I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Kaelin dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen. And I lead her armies. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. You have no rights. Your family surrendered them when I revealed them to be traitors to the king. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Enough, Carthrian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash cause, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight. Your selfish ambitions to the throne. I should put my faith in untried foreign hands. Do you think I'm blind? Kalen depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a King of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland.
Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. I would not ask you to, but bear in mind that he will be well protected by his alliance with Loghain. He always seemed the kind of man who enjoyed kicking stray dogs. I would not have thought Loghain would trust him. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. It shall be done. Is it true there's a prince among the Arles visitors? None of them looked all that princely to me. show up without notice more often. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. The Chamberlain disapproves of us. If Lady Isolde hadn't brought me into this household from Redcliffe last year, I'd never have been given a place. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. His lordship sends no notice he's coming, and now the house is full of guests. And dress they preserve it. This will be the death of me. Not ready yet, and don't ask. It'll be served when it's done, and that's that. Now, show me. My mother you. says elves have the clap.
indeed. Yes. Yes. We have many things in common, Zevran. Other than our purity and beauty? We both spent many years in places other than Ferelden. You are an assassin, and I a bard. Then you were called upon to kill. Often. I didn't like it, but I did it anyway. You didn't like it? You didn't like the thrill of the hunt? I suppose. I did like that. The hunt. Not the killing. The killing just signals the end of the hunt. Without it, the chase goes on. You, you killed your marks cleanly, I hope. Whenever possible. Good. When the prey is caught, it deserves a good death. A clean death. Perhaps you are right. We have much in common. I shall do so. On it. You ah! very well. Good to see you, Warden. Fighting the good fight, eh? One more swipe, and no one will ever forget it. I guarantee you'll love it. Six sovereigns. Cairn Loghain is out in the field. I figure you'd like to get back at him, right? Word is that his seneschal has been getting the Tern's crown all nice and sparkly for the landsmeet. The seneschal is taking a bit of a rest at the Nord Noble Tavern. He won't be there long. He has a heavy guard. But if you can make off with the tyrant's own crown, think of the embarrassment. That's all I know. I hope it's enough. army to die when a blight threatens. I take him at his word. The battle could not be won. Even you must admit there's a suspicious rash of mortality among the advisors to the crown. Bryce, Urien, Eamon. Eamon's not dead, more's the pity. The only thing that truly worries me is Eamon's notion of putting this bastard on Marek's throne. It's an ill precedent. Throne? I would rather see Anora keep the throne myself. Better it passes to the McTeer line than to some divine. Be gone. I've important matters to discuss. Aren't you Bryce and Eleanor Kuzlan's youngest? Make us breath, I thought. Well, it's good to see you're all right. Wonderful. Another one. I suppose you're here to ask for a donation, too. You're the youngest Kuzland, aren't you? Probably looking for coin or men to take your turn here back then. You're better off asking the Darkspawn. They hold West Hills now. Well, I can see how you might miss it. All of southern Ferelden covered by black clouds, the ground rotting beneath your feet, Plagues and darkspawn raids going on until even the crows get sick of the smell of carrion. What's a little trifle like that when compared to the important troubles here in Denery? There's no point talking about it. Leave me. I've nothing for you anyway. There's nothing more to say. Pester someone else. What do you suppose Eamon is playing at? Surely, he doesn't expect us to believe Anora unfit to rule, with her father to advise her. I wonder that myself. His timing is unfortunate. South Reach is overrun. I have little time to devote to politics at present. Overrun? Has the blight truly spread so far? Most of my freeholders have fled to Redcliffe and Lothering, but I doubt they'll be safe there for long. Baker's breath. Ryland, I had no idea. Be careful how loudly you speak of it. Wolf lost both his boys to Darkspawn, trying to evacuate West Hills. Lady Androste, pray for us. I'm sorry, I'm busy at the moment. You'll have to excuse me. I'm engaged. Nobody goes in the room by authority of Tern Loghain.
No bother. What can I get you, stranger? You're back, eh? The Tan's Crown. Oh, that's rich. You have to admit, that was worth every copper you paid me, eh? They're calling you the Dark Wolf. What do you think of that? <laughs> Too bad no one can know. You could get a lot of action. There's nothing more I can offer you like that. Anything else you fancy? I have one last job. A legendary one. Oh, <laughs> a paltry ten sovereigns is my take. Ban Frandaril is one of the richest men in the entire kingdom. At his grand ball next week, he's displaying some of his priceless treasures. Paintings of old masters, the armaments of the first king of Denerim, and more. Oh, more. Mages have put up magical wards, but I've got a route that will bypass that. Once inside, I've no idea how you'll deal with the guards, but if you do, you'll be rich and infamous. I can't wait to see what people say. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The Crows send their greetings once again. So they sent you, Talison. Or did you volunteer for the job? I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Oh, does Zevran need to live? I suspect I will manage just fine, Talison. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. I'm not coming back. And you should have stayed in Antiva. We must... <laughs> Not exhaust our supplies.
it is. Talison is dead. And I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, they will not seek me out. A very good thing. It is, in fact, what I had hoped for ever since you decided not to kill me. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. But I suppose the decision is yours. Will you let me go? Mm, all right. You make a convincing argument. You do seem to stumble onto treasure on a regular basis somehow. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? As you say. It shall be done. I shall do it. It shall be done. Ah! <sighs> 
on our way. I can't believe Van Frandero fooled me. His guards almost nabbed you. I feel like a bloody fool, I do. Listen, I have to go. Use your coin back. I won't take a silver because of the way that went down. Give me some time and come back. We'll get our revenge, we will.